Hi everyone, welcome to my video on overlanding. In this video I'll be explaining why overlanding is an amazing way to explore the wild and some of the basics you'll need to know before you start. After that, I'll share key tips on getting started, including creating an overland plan and choosing the right gear. Then I'll talk about some of the most important considerations when overlanding, such as navigation and mapping techniques, as well as how to prepare for risks and hazards. Finally, I'll cover vehicle maintenance and troubleshooting basics, as well as how to prepare for the unexpected. At the end of the video, I'll summarize the essential points and give advice on where to go next. So why is overlanding worth exploring? Well, for starters, it's the perfect way to slow down, disconnect and explore the great outdoors. It's a fun way to get off the beaten track and discover new places without ever having to step foot in a plane. With overlanding, you're free to choose your own route, making the whole experience even more memorable and unique. Not to mention, it's a great way to make new friends, learn new skills, and gain a greater appreciation for nature. What's more, you don't need any special qualifications or certifications to get started. All you need is a little bit of planning and preparation, and you're good to go. So if you're ready to embark on an epic and unforgettable overlanding adventure, let's start planning. Before you can hit the road, there are a few things you'll need to do to prepare for your overlanding adventure. First off, you'll need to create a plan of where you're going and what you'll need to do when you get there. Also, depending on how long and far you're planning to go, you should factor in how much time you'll need to get there and how much money you'll need to cover fuel and other costs. When it comes to choosing the right gear for overlanding, the key is to pack light. Choose items that you know you'll actually use and that will help you enjoy your adventure. However, there are a few things you'll definitely want to make sure you have, such as a vehicle that's up to the challenge, navigational maps and charts, a first aid kit, a good quality sleeping bag, a tent, and of course, plenty of snacks and water. Don't forget to like this video and keep watching to see some of the important considerations you'll need to keep in mind before you hit the road. Creating a plan before you set out on your overlanding adventure is essential if you want your journey to be a successful one. To start, make a list of the places you want to explore and the activities you want to do along the way. Decide how long you plan to be away and what places you'll need to visit to achieve your goals. In addition to the places you want to see, it's also important to research any climatic or terrain conditions you may encounter. You'll need to choose routes that are suitable for your vehicle and skill level, and prepare accordingly for any bad weather or challenging terrains. Make sure you take a look at the condition of roads in advance, especially if you're traveling off-road, and also prepare for any additional fuel and vehicle maintenance requirements. Another factor to consider when creating an overland plan is the people you're going with and how everyone can contribute. Not everyone will necessarily be driving, but everyone can contribute in other ways such as cooking, reading maps, or performing maintenance on the vehicle. Finally, if you're planning to travel to another country, you should research their laws and regulations to make sure you comply while you're there. You'll also need to arrange visas, ensure your vehicle has the right documentation, and check the local currency exchange rate. Creating a plan is an important part of the preparation for an overlanding trip and is a critical part of ensuring everything goes smoothly and you have an enjoyable time. With some careful research, planning, and preparation, you're sure to set off on a safe, successful adventure. When it comes to choosing the right gear for overlanding, what you want to bring will depend on the type of trip you're planning and the vehicles, people, and terrain you'll be encountering on the way. Start with your vehicle. You'll likely want to bring two spare tires and a tire changing kit, plus some jacks and spare parts. Depending on the size of your vehicle, you may also need to invest in some specialized camping equipment to keep your vehicle safe and comfortable. If you're traveling in more than one vehicle, then you'll need to make sure that all vehicles have the same equipment. It's important to also make sure that everyone has the same knowledge and skill level so that you can support each other in the event of an emergency. Next, you'll need to think about what personal items to bring. This includes clothes and sleeping bags for all seasons, essential toiletries, a first aid and repair kit, a tool kit, spare fuel and oil, and plenty of food. It's also important to bring a means of communication, whether that's a phone, handheld radio, or satellite transponder. This can not only help you if you run into difficulty, but it also gives you a way to contact family and friends back home and get help if you need it. Finally, don't forget to bring a good quality GPS and map, ideally one that covers the entire region you're planning to visit. GPS tracking systems are also a good idea, 
and can give you peace of mind if something goes wrong. Choosing the right gear for your overlanding adventure is essential to ensure you're safe and comfortable along the way. With the right gear and preparation, you can have an enjoyable, successful trip. Navigation and mapping are essential tools for successful overlanding. In addition to a GPS and paper maps, you'll need to be familiar with traditional navigation and map reading techniques, like following compass bearings and orientating maps. Before you start your journey, it's important to create a detailed plan of each route you intend to take and preload coordinates into your GPS. You should also plan out points of interest, campsites and places to get fuel, food and water along each route. When out on the road, you'll need to keep an eye on the terrain, landmarks and features on the map to make sure that you stay on the right track. Establish waypoints as you go, making note of local points of interest, roads and obstacles that could affect your journey. When setting these waypoints, be sure to take your time and look at the route you're planning to take in detail. Using GPS in overseas locations can be tricky due to lack of mobile phone coverage and spotty satellite signals. Whenever possible, stick to areas that you're sure are covered by GPS and prepare a contingency plan in case your GPS fails. It pays to know what potential obstacles and hazards you're likely to face on your journey, such as mud, swampy areas, rocks, or cliffs. If you plan ahead and are sure of your location, you can manually bypass any areas and stay safe. Map reading and navigation are important skills to have when overlanding and should be practiced wherever possible. Ensure that everyone in your group is familiar with the basics of navigation and map reading, and if needed, hire a professional guide to help you navigate the terrain. Identifying potential risks and hazards is key to successful and safe overlanding. Before beginning your journey, it's important to consider what local wildlife, dangerous terrains, and other risks you may encounter. When exploring unknown terrains, it's important to take time to identify potential risks and hazards along the way. Have a plan in place in case of emergency. Take note of weather warnings in the area, and always carry a first aid kit, emergency supplies, a satellite phone, and other communication devices. It's also important to be aware of local regulations, local customs and laws, and cultural sensitivities. Know your country's embassies in order to contact them in case of emergency. Having the right attitude is important when exploring unknown terrains. You should practice caution, be resourceful and open-minded to potential challenges and unexpected situations. Have measures in place to respect the privacy and cultural beliefs of the people in the area and always seek permission from local landowners before entering private land. Developing situational awareness is important when overlanding and is one of the most useful skills you can have. Pay attention to your surroundings, the road conditions, and any animals and people in the area, and be ready to react accordingly. Make sure your vehicle is equipped and prepared for any situation. Ensure you have the right tools, parts, and spare tires for any potential repairs or breakdowns. Follow these precautions to ensure that your overlanding journey is safe and your experience is positive and enjoyable. Vehicle maintenance and troubleshooting basics are essential for successful overlanding. Ensuring your vehicle is reliable and properly equipped is incredibly important. No one wants to break down in the middle of nowhere. Before hitting the road, maintain and inspect your vehicle. Clean and check all filters, oils, fluids and hoses. Replace as needed. Be aware of common overlanding issues, such as defective brake lines, electrical issues, tire defects and more. It's important to have the right tools on hand for any everyday maintenance such as for changing or rotating tires, or for making any roadside repairs. Make sure you carry the right emergency tools and spare parts with you on your trip, such as a tire iron, fire extinguisher, air compressor, tow rope, and spare tire. Know the basics of how to troubleshoot your vehicle, such as how to increase traction on steep incline or decline, how to decrease load when crossing water, and how to replace a flat tire. If you have any doubts about the condition of your vehicle, or you simply cannot fix it yourself on the spot, don't hesitate to ask for help. Always consult a mechanic before leaving for a trip if you're not sure about the condition of your vehicle. Prepare for any eventuality. You never know when you'll need to use the tools, parts, and skills you have to travel another day. Having the knowledge and tools to service and maintain your vehicle is essential for successful and safe overlanding. Preparing for the unexpected is a vital practice when overlanding. The reality is, no matter how many precautions you take, there are times when you can't predict what Mother Nature or other physical circumstances might throw at you. 
The best advice for those unexpected moments is to be prepared with the right supplies. Make sure you're always carrying enough food and water with you. When planning an overland route, choose destinations where there are good food suppliers, as well as alternative camping spots in case of bad weather or unexpected changes of plan. Be sure to carry a full first aid kit and learn basic first aid techniques, such as dressing wounds and stabilizing fractures. It's also a good idea to bring a satellite phone or radio in case of emergency and alternative communication devices, such as a cell phone or walkie-talkie. Familiarize yourself with the hazards associated with your route. Do plenty of research before you set off, such as making yourself aware of the regional wildlife you may encounter and other environmental dangers you should avoid. Ensure you're also prepared to handle possible human hazards such as vandalism or theft. When planning an overland trip, make contingency plans in case of emergency and be sure to always tell someone trustworthy your itinerary and emergency contacts. Financially prepare for the unknown. This involves taking out the right insurance for overlanding and possible off-roading. Developing a survival mindset is also vital for any overland trip. Stay focused and have a clear-headed approach to problem solving. Remain confident and be willing to make tough decisions. And before heading off-road, learn the basics of vehicle recovery, such as how to jumpstart the car and understanding how to tow a car. With a bit of dedication, a few well-thought-out plans and an adventurous spirit, you can ensure your overlanding journey is a safe and successful one. When overlanding, there are a lot of essential points you should keep in mind to stay safe and have a successful journey. Taking the time to properly plan and equip yourself before you set off is the best way to ensure a great overlanding experience. Before beginning any overlanding trip, make sure you have a plan and research the destination thoroughly. Be aware of changing weather conditions and ensure you have the right gear for the terrain and conditions you are likely to encounter. Be mindful of the fact that the environment you are exploring is likely to be very different from the one you're used to. Remote locations can be dangerous and require extra precautions such as carrying a GPS unit, satellite phone, and alternative communication devices such as a cell phone or walkie-talkie. When it comes to overlanding gear, having the appropriate vehicular protection recovery gear, and off-roading tools is essential. Vehicle maintenance and troubleshooting should be familiar territory, as well as learning the basics of vehicle recovery, such as how to jumpstart the car and understanding how to tow a car. And lastly, make sure to take precautionary health and safety measures, such as having a full first aid kit and learning basic first aid techniques. Familiarize yourself with the regional wildlife you may encounter and other environmental dangers you should avoid and keep in mind possible human hazards such as vandalism or theft. Having the right gear and taking the necessary safety measures can help make an overlanding journey safe and successful. Ensure you also have a survival mindset, stay focused, and be willing to make tough decisions. Having the right attitude and being well prepared for the unexpected can ensure a successful and enjoyable experience. When you embark on your overlanding journey, you may encounter many exciting destinations along the way that you want to explore. Take some time to visit these places and form lasting memorable experiences. Some of the most popular places for overlanders include national parks, state parks, backcountry areas, and remote wilderness areas. These locations provide plenty of opportunities for hiking, fishing, camping, and exploring. But before visiting any of these locations, Make sure you check the restrictions in place and inform yourself of the local regulations. You can also look into special events that take place throughout the year, such as Jeep competitions, music festivals, and especially those that are geared towards overlanding. Participating in such occasions is a great way to network and gain a deeper understanding of the lifestyle and community that surrounds it. This lifestyle is often aided by joining online forums and Facebook communities to share stories and tips, as well as get informed. Camping clubs and online groups also come in handy during overlanding trips as they instantly provide access to knowledgeable and experienced individuals who can provide plenty of helpful advice. Most importantly, enjoy your trip. Being on a journey like this is a great opportunity to explore and learn more about yourself and the places where you visit. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help support our channel so we can keep bringing you the best information about overlanding. After all, you gotta start somewhere why not here? And with our helpful tips and experiences, we can help you make it the journey of a lifetime. So don't miss out. Hit the like button and subscribe for more overlanding insights today.